I absolutely hated coming down to my basement. It was a nightmare. It was a mess. Ugh, it's just so ugly. That's where I use to store everything. And I remember saying to myself, oh, I'll never finish this basement. It's just too much going on down here. Never. And then one day I got a text message from the wife and said, you gonna finish that basement? <laughs> I was like, no. Can't tell me what to do. I'm a man. It was only until after I got the I killed you text and I said to myself, I better finish this basement. So that's exactly what I started to do. I done studded all the walls and hang all the drywall. Problem was I wanted to do the ceiling first, but I couldn't because the HVAC took too long. But everything was coming along real nice an ice lag. But I done got the HVAC all finished up, but I said to myself, oh no, what am I going to do with this ceiling? I mean, the electrical was all ran. Put the reset of that and then looked real nice like I got it brightened up a little bit in here. Got all the wires hidden up there and there. I got all the gas pipes all hidden up in there. And I didn't have anything else to do but to hang that ceiling. And I tell you, I said to myself, you know what? I'll just take one sheet at a time and I'll hang it up myself. Hell, it shouldn't be that hard. I'm a man. But I noticed the older I became, the more weak and feeble I have become. Even my 10-year-old boy was like, just pick it up over your head. I said, nope, my arm hurts right now because of that last piece. It's really sore. I had then looked at all the local hardware stores to see if they had any tools in stock. And the only one I could find that had anything was my nods. Apparently, you can save big money with my nods. Believe it or not, this entire drywall lift only ran me $184 after a $40 rebate. So I bought it at my nods. Had some big old swivelly wheels that I thought maybe would get in my way. I only tripped over them a couple times, but they also had some really nice holders when you put your drywall up on top of this thing. I mean, I couldn't reach that ceiling without this thing. Simply impossible. Now, what was real nice about this thing is that you got those bands of pins right here. Don't really matter what size seat you got. I got a 4 by 8 foot. Hell, you can throw a 10 on there if you want. Ain't no problem. You can adjust those for you. Was worried about my drywall falling off when I go to hang it on there, but I noticed I got some safety feet right there. That's real nice, like I can tilt it back right here like so. I had fun with this. I played with it for like three hours. After I done resting my arm for four days, I got back at it, got my piece of drywall, threw it up on top there like so, put it right there on those safety feet, made sure that I was uh, somewhat, I guess, level, I swung that thing out there, and then I uh, just rotate it. Yeah, you got a 360 degree swivel on that head up there. That's real nice, like, and I just tilted it back, and as you can see, I was very happy about this. I done celebrated with three Mountain Dews immediately after. Even though this thing is pretty big and clumsy, I will tell you it is extremely nimble, but look at the security. I mean, it really holds it up there real nice, like you got those foots over there keeping everything nice and straight, nothing sagging, but there's my wheel, so now I gotta, well, I'm gonna raise it. I'm just gonna do it like this, all by myself, because I ain't got no friends. Thought I had one friend, his name was Vance. He used to be in the construction field, but now he makes vegan cookies. I tell you what though, this real nice like, I can adjust it just like so if I want to. I just get it done right underneath my joist and I just raise it up. And I was scared at first, but I was like, you know what? This damn thing is pretty secure. I can adjust it, move it all like snug everywhere I wanted to put it. I was like, wow, this is really neat. I'll just bring it up against that wall right now. And then I'm just going to raise it up. Just raise it up all by myself because I ain't got no friends. Damn shame about that bands though. Heard his vegan cookies aren't even that good. But I'll tell you what, look at it. Oh, that thing's budding right up next to it. Oh, there one. Oh, 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 I messed up. So I can bring this down. I can adjust it, bring it down again if I want to. And then look at it. It budded up real nice like. No friends or not, all I had to do was tighten that up against the wall and then put in my drywall screws. And I'll tell you what, those went in there real nice like. Get a couple of those screws in there and you don't have to worry about the thing falling on your face. You know, even that crap is still Harbaugh Fright. They didn't even have any of these in stock. I figured to myself, okay, $184 for this magnificent machine. I could probably sell it for around $200, $250. Once I'm done with it, I can just keep it in case somebody needs to borrow it and I can charge them $250 to rent it. So now I'm just gonna lower this wheel down right here. You can see that I'm getting it out my way. I don't need to hold that piece of sheetrock up there no more, so I'll just get it out of there. I will have to say that I done busted my head on that a couple times. It hurt. I, I have to say though, once I got used to it being around, I stopped tripping over it. I was really, really impressed with it. I was like, it's real nice like. I played with the tilt for another three hours and then I, I took a break. You have to understand, there are all kinds of safety features on here, all different kind of locks and different positions. I didn't have to hire nobody because you know, I'm real cheap. Got all kind of levers and everything's really simple to use. Took me literally like two seconds to figure this thing out. Got all kind of pins. Real nice, like real secure. Those are the wheels I tripped over. It was like 15 times, but it's all good now. Got the handles right there. Everything's welded. I, I tell you, my nods, they really came in handy for me. I, I love my nods. Actually, I really don't. I've only been there like a couple times. I I'm not a real big fan of them, but they really did help out with this. And I appreciate that price at 184. And like I said, I sell this when I'm done with it. But this is how you can hang that drywall all by yourself. You ain't got no friends like me.
But if you want to be my friend, you can smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. And also, get subscribed, hit that bell notification. This video doesn't help you out at all. We'll be back with a video soon, so you might want to stick around. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.